But the thing I was going to say, Candice, is what if we reframe that? And this is something I've learned is pain is growth. We know this in the gym. We go to the gym. We must have pain to then get our bodies in shape, everything like that. What if spiritually, what if in life, pain we saw as growth? Yes. And we had to do some of that painful thing where the other person's sobbing and you're feeling bad. You're going to go into a life alone again when you were so used to this other person. So what if we reframe that as, all right, this is growth to allow something better into my life, to allow a new partner into my life and allow them to have a partner who really really, truly in their heart wants to be with them as well. Yes. You and knew it too, right? That it wasn't for that. And um, it was turning toxic. There were so many that each of them was so unique, right? So every person that we're speaking to now also will have such a uniqueness to their breakup, yeah. the nuances of like what made them want to stay together, what was too powerful to tear them apart. And sometimes it doesn't always end badly. Sometimes it's just a, a knowing that it yeah. is time and you move on. I mean, I learned that from, from death and grief, you know, Mm. there's a notion that sometimes you just have to let things go. Um, And when you hold on to them, like we said this earlier is when you really feel the suffering, but Mm -hmm. I do, I still encourage this and I say it all the time so that I can remember it. And others can too, is you can never really know what one is truly going through at any different point in their life. So it is always best to be kind Like, even if you're having an awful day, you know, sometimes I tell people like, just like the, the horrible book reviews that we can see sometimes as authors and writers, you know, this is somebody's livelihood. It's how they feed their children and keep the bills like going and pay the rent. And when you write horrible things about people, even if it's personal, and maybe you're just projecting something about yourself that you don't like you are affecting somebody else's livelihood. And for that, I ask people to know that even if you don't like someone, like say you absolutely hate me because I'm polarizing and I get it. Keep it to yourself, man. I have to bite my tongue so much these days because Mm -hmm. we're all triggered by so much of the technology around us. But I I also think, like you said before, um, when we learn, we grow. And we definitely go through pain cycles. And if we can actually stop and take a look at what's going on and assess it, Mm. say, like, my pain cycle is revolved around feeling very much like I don't have the respect or the merit that I so badly look for because my mother was a very tough mother and she, in a way maybe did not see me as a success story because I chose to be an independent writer instead of a doctor or a lawyer. And um, I always looked for outside validity and still very much do, which is probably why the the poor reviews can hurt me. Um, But then when I come to the realization to accept, it's a feedback loop I'm telling myself, I know I'm good. I wouldn't get on, you know, shows and have a million books if if I wasn't good at what I did. So at some point, I have to stop and tell myself, Candace, you are loved, you are good enough, you are successful, and you do have merit and respect from your peers, and you need to just see it. Like Courtney said it to me, I think, yesterday, too. But the feedback loop comes from paying attention, sadly, to the con artist's the fake people, the fake followers people have, and mm-hmm. just getting down on myself. So if anybody feels that way and they're telling themselves this horrible story over and over, perpetually, it is typically from an overuse of social media, mm. this old belief system that no longer works for you. And you're not alone in that feeling. Casper, mm-hmm. I'm sure you have felt it. Absolutely. Or, or maybe even have felt it for your parents' practice in a way. Oh, yes. I mean, I, I I suffer in that way similar to you that it is, you know, I know my father says daily like, jokes around like, oh, you still want to go at 41 back to medical school? It's like, that's done pretty well in the business arena, have companies now do this and that. But yeah, sure, I'll go back to medical school and be one by like 60. Uh, no, it's not going to happen. This That wasn't my path and that's okay. But yeah, you're very critical on yourself of of all these things and trying to get that. And anyone that says one wrong thing, when you know 
how long and how hard you worked and what you've done to get somewhere, it does impact you. 